Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Tech Update with Techie SMN. In this video, I try to cover all the latest updates happened during the span of the month in the field of DIY electronics, IoT, and maker community in general, which includes all the latest development boards released in the market during the span of the month, all the latest news and updates happened during this month, and I also showcase all the interesting DIY projects that were uploaded during the span of this month. And these are all kind of information which you must be aware about being the part of the community. So let's start with tech update with Techie SMS May 2021 edition. Let's get started. So before starting with all the news, updates and boards, all kind of thing. First of all, I'd like to tell you one update coming from the Bell Coyote podcast. Now, this guy uh, recently did a podcast with me and uh, released it on the 1st of May. Okay. So if you want to know, like if you are a follower of Techie SMS, if you want to know my journey, like how I landed up on uh, like creating our own YouTube channel, then you can definitely uh, listen to this episode 26, which was with me in which I discussed my whole journey, like how I started with YouTube and how you can start with IoT as well. So do listen to this podcast. I'll leave the link for that in the description. Coming back to the next update, then this update is all about the new development boards released in May 2021. The first board comes is Lilygo Mini E-Paper wristband. Now, this is not released yet, but this is kind of a teaser uh, given by the Lilygo company on its Twitter account. So as you can see, this is a tiny little display with the e-paper display. Okay, so this is a watch kind of structure on which we can fit out the Apple Watch wristbands. And uh, as you can see, this is, this looks very nice. It's a tiny little display and they haven't uh, mentioned anything like none of the specs are displayed. But uh, uh, what I think this also must be based on ESP32 or maybe ESP32 Pico chip because I have used a couple of Lilygo based products and they all are ESP32 based devices only. So probably this one uh, will also be uh, ESP32 based, but it's not released yet. As soon as it will be released, I'll be uh, you know letting you know about the updates of this particular board as well. And they also uh, tweeted about the case that we are trying to make so this is a 3d printed case for that same mini a paper display so let's just wait for it if it comes in the market it will be a great board to make the variable projects because this is an e-paper display so we can make a battery power projects that can last way longer like much much longer okay so let's see and uh, if i am lucky enough i would get a chance to uh, purchase it i'll definitely try to make a video on this as well do subscribe okay coming back to the next update which is coming from the arduino now i think arduino has a really great month like in may 2021 there are a couple of updates coming from one single company that's the arduino okay so one of the update is they have launched that arduino potenta machine control board so this is a development board you can say but it is totally marketed for all the industry people it is not like for you and me like all the diy maker people this is targeted to the industry people only because when you look at the uh, marketing video of this arduino board which i'll let you know let you uh, see in just a while uh, you'll come to know that they have shown all the industrial images only okay but before that if you look at the tech specs then uh, they have kind of like industrial standard specifications so uh, rather than going to this let's just have a look over the video and let's see how they are presented okay so here is the video about marketing this arduino potenta control and as you can see they have all the machines uh in the video so this completely reveals that this is not for the project purpose it is solely made for industrial purpose okay and the good thing is that you can program this industrial machines with the help of this arduino Proton machine control using arduino framework so that's a plus point for all the arduino lovers out there now you can control the machines using the arduino framework arduino coding okay that's a plus point but it's a really expensive if you can see the price three three five dollars so if you see as a diy maker it is expensive but as it is not at all uh, like made for our diy people and it's made for industry so i think for industry people it may seem quite cheap i don't know about the industrial standards industrial products so i can't say but yeah this is the update coming from the arduino second update is also from the arduino and all the people must be aware about like those who are following me on instagram they all are must be aware about this thing which is arduino nano rp2040 so this was kind of expected thing because as soon as the raspberry pi pico was launched arduino already published on their social media that they are planning to make their own nano board based on the rp2040 that's the raspberry pi chipset okay so they have finally made it okay and it is much better than the raspberry pi pico board okay so if you are following me on instagram and facebook or youtube you must be aware about that i already made a short uh, video about it so if you haven't watched it no worry uh, i'll see i'll show you the video right now 
So here is that short video which covers all the specs about the Arduino Nano and it's a just a 25 second video. So let's just have a look. So finally, Arduino Nano RP2040 is here. That's the Arduino board with the Raspberry Pi silicone and much better than Raspberry Pi. It has built-in reset button, first of all, built-in Wi-Fi, built-in built-in 6-axis IMU, built-in RGB LED, built-in microphone for a edited project, but it comes at $25 price point. Specs are awesome, but price is a little bit high. And that's the update from my side. So yeah, so that was the specs and the price. Yeah, price is uh, no doubt its price is very, very high than the Raspberry Pico. It, uh, Raspberry Pico cost only $5 and this cost $25. But on the other side, it has very good features as compared to Raspberry Pico, okay? I will try to get this board as soon as it comes into the Indian market and I'll try to make a video for that as well. And let's just see what kind of project we can make using it, okay? So that's another update from the Arduino uh, company. That's another development board released in the May 2021. And there is one more development board released in this month and it is coming from the Ida fruit industries okay I have a very mixed feelings regarding this board so let me just show you what this board is about so this is the okay, let me just mute it. okay so this is a development board based on ESP32 which has built in uh, a capacitive touch sensors speakers uh, and uh, sensor connector headers and also a display in the front side okay so that kind of development board they have released and uh, yeah it has also built in humidity barometer and temperature sensor in the front okay so they have developed this board for the IoT based project but I don't know will I ever be using this kind of board for my project like that kind of confusion thing no doubt the board is great they have like Adafruit is always like uh, A plus for making like beautiful looking products like this looks very neat beautiful and it's easy to use as well and it can be used with the Arduino framework, like Arduino ID and with the circuit Python with the with the micro Python. Okay, so these three platforms are available and we can connect I2C sensors as this guy did. Okay, so this is like all in all great development board, but do you ever like try to buy this particular thing? Like I, I don't feel like buying this board as of now maybe in future i don't know so i have very mixed feelings about it but yeah as this released in the in this period of month and i considered it in the tech updates video okay so yeah that were all the latest boards released in the may 2021 now let's jump on to what are the latest news in this particular period so first news comes from the esp3 that's the expressive community expressive company you can say okay so they uh have planned or rather they have already did i don't know if this is released or not but they have like uh, posted an article about this video weird looking development board like look at this design so the pin compatibility of this new board is same as that of the ESP32 room 32e okay but the major attraction or the major difference in this module is this dual antenna set okay so what they did is they made this board this module particularly for high quality and long range wireless communication okay so it has all the nice features which you can expect from an esp32 module plus it has a dual pcb antenna which will ensure a reliable and a longer connectivity okay so how they designed it like what's the purpose of it is uh, let's take example any device is connected uh, with the help of wi-fi using this esp board okay so in case uh, the device goes a uh, little bit out of the range it will try to shift on to a next antenna on which it is getting the stronger uh, connectivity range okay so on both the antenna which are having the stronger uh, connectivity it will shift their device connection to that particular antenna so this kind of uh, dual antenna concept is introduced by this ESP or expressive community for a longer range better connectivity and reliable uh, connectivity okay so that's the news coming from the expressive I don't know if it is launched or not but yeah that's the news now coming to the second news which I love the most and it is the most recent news it's like the 28th May they have announced Arduino Cloud now supports ESP32 device like wow so Arduino Cloud if you are not aware about Arduino IoT Cloud then it's their own cloud and application on which we can make the IoT based projects like we can send and receive the data to and fro from the mobile device to the hardware device and uh, with the help of the cloud okay so earlier they were supporting their uh, uh, native boards like the arduino uh, series boards only which has the iot connectivity power but now they also started uh, supporting the third party devices like the expressive boards like the esp26 is the esp32 board so esp32 board is like uh, started supporting right now like recently only and uh, it's a great news like if you have esp32 board now you can use the iot uh, cloud from arduino and they have the free subscription plan as well with the limitation of uh, 
usage okay so i'll soon try to make a project using the iot cloud of arduino and uh, esp32 device so subscribe the channel if you haven't because uh, like i'll be definitely making this project because even i'm excited to use it and i i wanted to know like uh, the difference between the iot cloud and the blink platform that we all are using okay i don't want to know the difference and i'll soon let you know the difference again okay? so that's the news coming from the arduino cloud size next news is coming from our most favorite blink iot platform so those who are following me on youtube already they uh, must be aware about what are the new features and when it is released and everything about this new blink platform but if you're not following techie hms by the way you should follow subscribe but if you are not following then let me tell you blink has released is new blink platform like much better than the previous version new application new cloud new web dashboard new widgets and new pricing plans as well okay so all the things are mentioned in the article and if you are not a reading person and if you are a video kind of person then don't worry i have also made a full detailed video about what are the new features of it what are the new widgets of it and like everything i have discussed in the video so here is the video about all new blink 2.0 which is uploaded onto my channel i'll leave the link for that as well in the description so do watch it out super interesting and you can also start using the new blink platform from now okay so there was a news from the blink side now the next video is not a news not a project but it's kind of a fun thing let me tell you what it is so see what happened with me and i think it was happened with you all as well i started using raspberry pi as my uh, basic desktop computer and whenever any layman or a person who is not from this field come into the studio i just show them that hey look at this computer it's a small credit card size computer and we can do all the stuff here and they are kind of amazed to see this like wow this is so small and the next question is like what kind of things we can do with this can we play games on it so that's a uh, like a uh, one question which all the student like all the student all the game lovers ask me while looking at that particular credit card such computer and the answer of that question is given in this video so this video is coming from the youtube channel called as the gadget show now the gadget show is a really amazing show which i used to watch in my early college days i think it was uh, coming on net geo or discovery i don't remember it was discovery science yeah it was a discovery science channel on which the show was coming doesn't matter okay so in this video what they did is they tried to find out what kind of games we can play on our raspberry pi board of course being a techie we all know we can't play those high end games onto this small little board but yes there are some of the games which we can play on it so this video guides you with what kind of games we can play on our all new raspberry pi board all the retro games uh, she she discussed about all the retro games that we can play and all the roms that were uh, we can download and use it onto our raspberry pi board okay so this is kind of a video for all the people who want to play games on the raspberry pi board this is that video you should refer to okay so that's uh, one thing now i can't consider it as a news but it's kind of a fun update you can say okay so yeah that was all about it and now it's the time to showcase the diy project which i like the most in the april or oh, sorry in the may 2021 edition okay now let him tell you one thing during this month i didn't like much projects okay so i considered only three videos but those three videos are super interesting let me show you so first thing is coming from a new youtube channel uh, like new for me at least which is stack smashing okay now what this guy did is we all know that apple airtag is already launched and it is super small super useful uh, product okay but what this guy did is they tried to hack the firmware of this airtag using the raspberry pi pico board and they succeeded in hacking it and in the end they changed the firmware and uh, what they did is so apple airtags come with a built-in nfc chip and as soon as we scan our phone it will redirect you to the apple website okay but this guy hacked this airtag hacked the firmware changed the nfc uh a redirection url to a youtube video and he successfully did it let me show you the end results so yeah here is that uh, ad tech successfully hacked as soon as he tapped the phone as you can see now is it's open up a youtube video a music video opens up so he this this guy successfully was able to hack this ad tech and uh, try to change the firmware so in case if you're interested in like hacking those small little tags you can consider this video i i really like this concept and as he got success i just shared this video with you all like any of the hacking hacker people watching this video that this is a super useful video for you okay so coming back to the next video which is coming from the great score our favorite youtube channel and this time he succeeded with generating electricity using his bicycle and this time he used car alternator okay so great scott projects are like kind of hard to make like we all will find difficulty to finding a car alternator for our projects of course 
but yeah come on this is interesting because he not only showed how to generate electricity using car or car alternator rather he also showed like how a car alternator actually works okay as you can see he all he like draws a circuit diagram everything so how do how a car, car alternator works that also he showed and how he used a car alternator uh, with the bicycle to generate electricity that also he shows and in the end he shows that is is it like uh, fruitful to use this kind of system to power up our house it's kind of a conclusion which i won't reveal here because otherwise you won't be watching this video okay do watch it out it will be really uh, interesting and full of knowledge okay so yeah that was another project which i pick up for may 2021 edition and the last video of the may 2021 uh, tech update is coming from the electro nose like what a man this guy is like the project which electro nose make are kind of easy to replicate as well and this guy comes up with a lot of interesting projects from the different different sectors of the electronics so this time what he did is he made his own spy camera like a wireless spy camera whose footage we can visualize in the analog television as you can see this is the camera okay and he's transmitting the data wirelessly and as you can see he's able to see the footage onto an analog tv okay so like this is an amazing project and he made it with the quite basic component so it's a simple project yet interesting so you should definitely check it out okay so yeah that was the last video uh, from the may 2021 and with this our episode of tech update with tech sms comes to the end like if you like this video if you got to know something new if you got some value out of this video please consider liking this video and well you can also join my telegram group where we discuss all the latest tech updates before we shoot this video so you can join the telegram group uh, the link is in the description and you can also follow me on instagram to be updated with all the latest things happening at the tech sms studio that being said subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and now just wait for my action to explore learn share with me tech sms